Okay, so we're out here again at the first legal dump site, 3081 Churchill Street in Macon, Georgia. And we've had a lot of things happen over the past couple of uh, weeks. And Keep Making Beautiful has come out and they've helped us. And I'm here with Stanley Stewart and I'm gonna let him say a couple words. When you come across an area like this, as a citizen of Macon, uh, it, it tugs at your heartstring because you realize that people have to live among this. And so I take my hat off to you and your team for what you're doing. I've been here basically all of my life. And so, um, you know, it hurts to see um, areas of your city that once this was once a thriving, nice family community neighborhood. And so now to see, you know, what it, what it has become. But I, I try to stay positive because I also see what it can be. So there's no greater standing in a community than that of the citizen. And so, you know, concerned citizens coming out, making sure that their neighbors are taken care of, making sure that situations like this are taken care of is, uh, is paramount. As soon as you clean an area up, that's a possibility of it coming back. But hopefully we can devise a plan uh, citywide that we can kind of you know, deal with this, whether it be cameras, whether it be uh, better patrols, you know, concerned citizens making their uh, hearts and minds known. Uh, all that collectively, I think, can kind of uh, cut down and roll back the numbers of this illegal dumping here in Macon yes. And Garrett, if I could, may I add this, you got a young man right here standing to the side here. I don't know if he wants to get in the shot or not, but I mean, this young man, you know, is doing a good job coming out here. They're helping to clean up, but at the same time, uh, he shouldn't have to be worried about a situation like that. 100%. So, 3081 Churchill Street. This has been the first dump site location. It has been a project. It has been ups and downs. We have definitely, for lack of better words, kicked the hornet's nest with this one. This project has opened so many doors, so many avenues. Um, my team and I, we have collected 40,000 pounds for us. And the city came out after we met with Mr. Miller and they collected probably another 30 to 40,000 pounds of trash with their boom trucks, so not even including tires. This street in Macon on this neighborhood had 100,000 pounds of trash on it. And that's just a rough estimate. And that doesn't include the soil that's so littered with trash. April 20th, 2024, we embarked on this project probably about two months ago, and we finished today. And it is a astounding feat. Thanks to the city for helping us out, meeting with the mayor and the county manager, and him coming out and helping us and backing us on this project. If you guys are still looking to donate, the GoFundMe is still below, because this is not, we are not finished. We are finished here, but we are not finished with this endeavor. We have more dump sites, more lists, more, more places. You want to sign off? See ya. See ya.